Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to kneeboard at a cable park. Kneeboarding is a fun sport to learn and it's a great way for getting people up riding for the first time. So buckle your helmets, your life jackets, and grab your kneeboard and let's get out there. Now let's quickly go over safety. The first thing I'm going to recommend is get rid of the strap. We're not going to need this. You can either undo it completely like I just did, or you can undo it and let it drag in the water so it's not in your way. Whichever you prefer is fine. The reason we're taking off the strap is because many beginner riders will leave it on when they fall or let go, and if the board flips over upside down, you can get trapped in the water. I am going to make a tutorial on how to safely use an e-board strap, but for now, no straps. When in doubt, letting go is what it's all about because hesitation can lead to devastation. If you're approaching a person or a cable park feature and you can't avoid them, you're going to let go of the rope. <laughs> if you're not able to get between a set of buoys at a corner, you're going to let go of the rope. Uh, get ready. Go two. Uh. If your body starts dragging in the water with or without your board, you're going to let go of the rope. Once you've fallen or let go, the first thing you want to do is look behind you to make sure no ropes or people are coming your way. Invisiboy and Invisiboy 2 are on the water. If you see a rope or a person coming your way, you'll want to duck underwater head first and then swim to the nearest dock or shoreline with your board. You'll want to push the board out in front of you like a torpedo and then swim to it. Torpedo! Once you're on the dock or shoreline, you can head back to the starting dock to start again. The line. Many cable parks have two lines. If yours does, be sure to head to the one that's closer to the operator. It's good etiquette to keep the line moving as you don't want the riders behind you waiting. So be sure to follow the rider that's directly in front of you. Once you're a few feet from the water, place your board down with the nose of the board facing in front. If you don't know which side of the board is the nose of the knee board, you'll want to find the knee wells. The knee wells will be closer to the nose of the board. <laughs> Once your board is down, place your knees in the knee wells. Point your toes so they're facing towards each other and sit down on your feet. Politely ask the operator if you can get a kickoff. A kickoff is when the operator will kick the tail of your board downward to keep your board on top of the water. Hold the handle with both hands. Squeeze it into your waistline, leaning forward, keeping your head up, and squeeze your legs together. This is called the turtle position. Stay in a turtle position until you're in the center of the cable. Once you're in the center of the cable, you can relax your elbows and your back straight. If you'd like to turn left, you're going to lean forward, pull the handle into your waistline, then bring it to your right hip while leaning on your left thigh. If you'd like to turn right, you're going to pull the handle into your waistline, lean forward, and bring the handle to your left hip as you lean onto your right thigh. Now the cable park will have corners. To go through the corners, you'll want to edge out far in advance get as close as you can to the outside buoy without passing it. Now get into the turtle position. As you see the carrier rounding the corner, you'll want to edge in the direction that the cable is pulling you. Then look for the next set of buoys and do the exact same thing. You can ride around as long as you'd like unless the cable operator calls you off. If you get tired and want to let go, many cable parks have a designated set of buoys to drop off at. Pro tips. Many larger individuals and adults struggle more often than children as it's harder to kick the tail of the board down. If the nose of your board is going underwater, you can try the leaning back technique. Simply bring the handle into your waistline. Keep your head up and bring your shoulders back about 100 degrees. This technique is a little more difficult to balance than a total position, but it may keep the nose of your board up. If you're struggling with both techniques, you can try belly boarding just to get out on the water and have fun. To do this, get as far back on the dock as you can and still have a little bit of slack in the rope. Place your kneeboard down, lay down on the kneeboard with much of the board in front of you so there's a lot of nose. Bring your wrists in as close as you can to your shoulder. Keep your head up. Once the cable pulls you off the dock, you can slowly relax your elbow straight. If you start bouncing, you can let go with one hand to position the kneeboard so you're closer to the nose of the board. You can lean to the left to edge left, and you can lean to the right to edge right. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If it's your first time here, make sure you don't stress it. You just press it when it comes to subscribe, like, and the bell icon. I want to thank the sponsors of this video, O'Brien Lodge Sports, Evil Coffee, and Wake Steve's Clothing. And let me know what you'd like to see in the next video. And we will see you next time. Peace out. When you exit the cable,
You always want to go in between the white buoys. They're located at every exit at your cable park. Here on OWC Radio. And you're still here after the credits, so make sure you hit this video and you hit this playlist. And something good might happen to you. It might. Might not, but it might.